all are welcome to the second episode of Science with Jairaj. We started this channel in order to demonstrate and explain all the physics, chemistry, biology experiments of classes 1 to 12. Today's our topic is electricity and electricity bill. Electric current is of two types, direct current or DC or alternating current or AC. The current which we get from a cell is direct current or DC. This is the representation of a cell. The big line indicates the positive terminal and the small line indicates the negative terminal of the cell. This is a dry cell which we use in torches. This is also dry cell that we use in clocks. This is also a dry cell that we use in remote controls. The voltage of these dry cells are 1.5 volt. We can measure the voltage of this dry cell using a multimeter. This is a multimeter. In this DC voltages can be measured. AC voltage can be measured, current can be measured and also resistance can be measured. That is why it is a multifunction meter and known as a multimeter. Using this multimeter I am measuring the voltage of the cell. You can see it is 1.6 volt. Now we can discuss the series connection of cells. Here three cells of voltage V1, V2, V3 are connected in series. The negative terminal of the first cell is connected to the positive terminal of the second cell. The negative terminal of the second cell is connected to the positive terminal of the third cell. Then we will get an effective voltage of V1 plus V2 plus V3. Here I have connected two dry cells in series. Two dry cells of 1.5 volt are connected in series. You can see in the multimeter the effective voltage is 3.5. 23 volt this is a dc voltmeter in this voltmeter three up to three voltage can be measured accurately and this is a dc ammeter in this dc ammeter current of 2 ampere can be measured the next current is alternating current or ac this is an ac source instead of positive and negative ac has phase and neutral now I am measuring the voltage of our domestic supply. Using a multimeter I am measuring it. And you can see the voltage of our domestic supply. It is 234 volt. This is a plug and switch of our domestic supply. There are two sets of holes. One left hole and one right hole. This right hole is connected with phase and the left hole is connected with the neutral. We will check in the phase hole the light the tester will glow and in the neutral hole the tester will not glow. You can see the tester glows. It is phase. Here also the tester glows. It is phase. And the and here tester do not glow it is neutral it is also neutral up to certain years before we used this incandescent lamps there is a tungsten filament in this incandescent lamp either the space inside this bulb is vacuum or some inert gases are filled inside this bulb otherwise the tungsten filament will get oxidized and destroyed now I am breaking this incandescent lamp and taking the tungsten outside and the tungsten is connected to a battery and see what happens. Now we are watching the filament inside the incandescent lamp. I am giving an external voltage of 90 volt to that filament. You can see the filament is burnt the filament is made into some dust on applying a voltage of 
ninety volt. You can watch it. Next is about electricity bill. When does the electricity bill is high? When current is high. When does this current high? When power is high. The unit of power is what? So when the wattage of an instrument is more, the current will be high, and the current bill will be high. Next is a demonstration of different incandescent lamps with different powers. This is an incandescent lamp of power 25 watt. This is of 40 watt. This is of 60 watt. This is of 100 watt, and this is of 200 watt. You can see when voltage increases, the light emitted by the bulb also increases. Now I am doing a comparative study of different types of lamps. The incandescent lamp, the CFL lamp and the LED bulb. This is an incandescent lamp of voltage 25 watt. This is a CFL lamp of 20 watt. This is an LED bulb of 20 watt. This is an LED tube light of 20 watts. The commercial unit of electrical energy is kilowatt hour KWH. Now I will say how we calculate the electricity bill of our houses. This is a formula for calculating the current bill. Energy in kilowatt hour is power in watts of the instrument in the number of hours used by 1000. So using this formula, I am calculating one electricity bill when I used a 100 watt bulb for 10 hours. Power in watts equal to 100 watt. Number of hours used equal to 10 hours. By 1000 I got 1 kilowatt hour or 1 unit. Now I am giving you a formula. How many hours it is needed for your electrical equipment to consume 1 unit of electricity. The formula is number of hours to become 1 unit equal to 1000 by power hours. So, if you have an LED bulb of 10 watt, we are going to calculate how many hours will it take to become 1 unit of electricity. Our formula 1000 by power, power is 10 watt, it will take 100 hours to become 1 unit of electricity. Next, if you are using an AC of 1000 watt, 1000 by 1000, it will take 1 hour only to consume 1 unit of electricity. For more such informative videos, please subscribe our channel Science with Jairaj. Thank you.